In this video I'll show you how to pair your new HP DeskJet 2842E with your iPhone. This way you can print using the Wi-Fi. So let's get started. I'll show you how to connect both of these together and then how to print. First thing we need to make sure that the printer is in pairing mode. And if we check over here on the small display, if you see the Wi-Fi sign doing its small animation and the Wi-Fi button here blinking blue, you're good to go. The printer is already in pairing mode. But what if in your case this is not what you see? Then you need to press the Wi-Fi button and the X button here both at the same time for about 3 seconds until you see the Wi-Fi button here flashing and you may also see the uh, power button flashing. This simply means that okay it's in pairing mode and we're ready to start. If you're still having issues uh, the Wi-Fi may not be activated on your printer. You simply need to press the Wi-Fi button once or maybe twice until you see the Wi-Fi icon appearing on the screen and then you can press uh, the Wi-Fi icon and the X during three seconds to put it in pairing mode. All right, let's go on the iPhone now. Open the App Store and we're gonna search over here for HP Smart. this app. Download it. Now let's open the app. Click on accept all. Continue. You can select whatever you want here. Set up a new printer. Uh, the first option here, new printer. The printer should appear on this screen, but uh, if not, wait just a few seconds. Sometimes it took even up to a minute to make it appear. If it still doesn't work after a minute, this screen will be presented to you. Click on Wi-Fi, then continue, continue, and the printer will then appear. I don't know why they make you do these extra steps to uh, see the printer on this list, but hey, this is how it works. So click on the printer once you see it, click on allow while using the app or allow once, that's what they want. And now we need to connect the printer on the Wi-Fi. So you're going to type the password of the Wi-Fi network that your iPhone is currently connected to, then press continue. They will ask you to press the I button on the printer, the one blinking right over here, press it once and the setup will continue on your smartphone. Then at the end you're going to press continue. All right, now go down this page, press accept all. These steps could take a lot of time, so don't just hold your phone, just put it on a table and wait until the next step is uh, appearing on the screen. I don't, really don't know why it's so slow, but if you see the screen, simply press allow. Now HP will try to sell you their subscription service, which is called HP Plus or uh, how is it called? Instant Ink Ready. That's the same thing really, if you see both of these names. So this is really up to you. Um, in my opinion, if you just want my opinion, is that this is not worthy. Why? Because once you have subscribed to HP Plus or HP uh, Instant Ink, you won't be able to use any third parties ink cartridges with this printer. They will lock you and they'll force you even after you unsubscribe to use only HP branded cartridges, which it's a big downside in my opinion. So again, it's up to you if you want, go ahead. But um, yeah, in my case, I'll simply press do not activate HP plus. And they're also very um, fishy about it. Even if you refuse, as you see, they will ask you again, which I'll decline for the second time. Press continue. And now they'll ask you to sign in into your HP account. This is different. Your HP account is free to make. It's not HP Plus, it's not Instant Ink. That's completely separate. You absolutely need to sign in to, into an HP account. You can create one, by the way, right over there in just a few seconds. If you want to use your smartphone to print. Again, 
I don't really like that they force you to do so, but if you go and um, select skip account activation, you won't have access to almost all the app's features. So it won't be very useful to have the HP. It won't be very useful. So this printer won't be very useful because you won't be able to print using your smartphone. So I'll go ahead and sign in into mine, but you can create one if not. Now they will try to sell you again their HP Instant Ink. This is uh, the third time they're trying to do this, saying that you have two uh, months of free ink. Well, it's not really free after all, because if you forget to unsubscribe, they will charge you. And, and here they will even say, remind me two weeks before my two month trial um, of HP Ink expire. I don't want that. I don't want to be reminded a fourth time that you want to sell me your subscription service. So I'll simply press do not enable ink delivery. But this is my choice. If you still, if you want it, if you change your mind, press next. But I don't want this service. And this is the fifth time they will try to sell you their subscription service. Are you sure you want to skip? Of course I want. This is the fifth time I'll, I'll say skip offer. Usually when somebody asks you five times if you want to buy their stuff, it's never a good sign. Now they'll go through a setup to install the ink, the paper, stuff like that. I already did it, so I'll just click on ink already install. Then go down. Here is if you want your printer to get automatically updated. In this case, select auto update. If not, they'll simply notify you and you'll have to choose if you want to install the update or not. Now it's time to print. They'll give you a test print over here. If you want to print it, good. If not, you can skip this. I'll skip it and print something that is on my phone instead. So I'll press on skip print page. And over here, I'll say skip sending link. Yes. And now we are finally on the main page of the HP app that will control this printer. Everything is very easy to understand. On the top, you have your printer with the ink levels. You can even click on it to have some options. And down below, this is where you're going to go every time you want to print and every time you want to scan. So let's start by printing a document. Select print document. If you want to print a picture, select print photo. Here is a document I have selected. And by the way, if your printer, this is a small bug I found. If your printer has this power button flashing and nothing is appearing on the screen and the printer is offline and no matter what you press doesn't work, simply unplug it from the back and replug it. So now I found a document I want to print. Press on print preview on the lower left side. And now you're going to have multiple options down below. You need to press this uh, small arrow right there to see them all. Make sure that this is fine with you. The paper size, how many copies of that. Do you want uh, the print quality to be normal, better quality, colors, stuff like stuff that you'll decide yourself. And then when you're ready, press the print button here. Make sure you extend the paper tray here. and uh, you don't have to touch anything on the phone. Now let me show you how to use the scanner. The first step, obviously, open the scan lid. Take your document you want to scan and you're going to place it facing down with the top part of the document here on the right side. Then you're going to align it. You're going to push the paper towards this corner where you see this logo. So put it like that. Now it's time to close the lid. On the HP app, you're going to go down and you're going to select printer scan. Now on the top here, if you click, you can uh, you can select the size of your scan. So under page size, you can already say 
the size that of the paper you just input. In my case, it's a letter size. Then go back. You have the quality. If you're scanning some text, I think 200 it's pretty okay. If you're scanning anything with some details like a picture or a document with different graphics, I'm going to select 300. It will simply give you a higher resolution. I'll leave it to 200. And finally, you can select if you want this to be in color or in black and white. I will leave it to color. Press done. And then you're going to have other options down below that you can change by sliding. If you're scanning a picture, document, text, whatever, other stuff, ID cards too, if you're scanning a driver license, for example. In my case, it's just a simple text document. So I'll select document and press scan. Now we just have to wait and it will appear. At the end, you're going to have scan finished. And if the borders are not aligned the way you want, you can simply drag them like that, whatever. Then press next. And you'll have other ways to modify the scan. You can rotate it, extract the text or even write over your scan. If you want to make an annotation, you select scribble on the top. On the bottom over here, if you want to print whatever you just scanned, you're going to press the first button. If you want to share it on social media, on email, or simply save it in your phone memory, you're going to select share and save. The other options, not many people will use them, so it's not even worth explaining. So this is it. This is how you scan. And by the way, I forgot to tell you, if let's say you have a document with five pages that you want to scan and you want to make them all together in a PDF file, you're going to press on add. And now they'll ask you to scan the second page. So put it over here and continue like this until your document is fully scanned. No matter how many pages you have, they'll all be saved in one document. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.